What is up everybody? It is Seppo Payo here and we are at Turku Open. I have a giveaway to announce. We got Prodigy BP1, we got eight discs, we got a water bottle, we got a towel and it's going to one of you guys. All you need to do is subscribe to MDG Media's YouTube channel, like the video and leave a comment down below. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy the videos. Hey everybody, we are back for the last nine holes of the MPO Field 2024 Turku Open presented by Prodigy Disc. Fifth up on the DGPT Europe, second elite. Interesting battle going on, still four strokes between Mauro Ribelman and Niklas Antila. Things are starting to, yeah, heating up. For sure, for sure. We saw Mauri had the best front nine out of the players, which is exactly what he wanted as the leader. You know, Niklas and uh, James, I believe, both going three under, Mauri going four under, so extending that lead by one stroke. And if, I think Mauri, he will need to shoot about three, four, maybe five under to make sure that he's going to win this tournament on the back. Yeah, depending on how Niklas and James are going, also Yalte with a good scoring until now through 11 holes. Let's see if they are able to push and put some pressure on Mauri. But yeah, good shooting day, also you were mentioning it, but the conditions are pretty nice, weather-wise. On to the first hole of the back nine, man. Hole 10, it's a beautiful downhill, straight shot, need to throw your shot perfectly straight. You have a bit of room on the right side to flex it if you want, with a slightly more overstable disc. Very important though to control the distance, don't go far off the basket, because there's a downslope, there's an OB long, OB left. Just all about angle and distance control here. Yeah, mainly mid ranges of the tee. Starting with James. Fading. fading. Yeah, a little bit early on the fade, but getting through the branches, that's going to be well. I think on the inner edge of circle one. And Niklas, this is a really good hole for Niklas, I feel. I can see him throwing this shape all day long. But this one is a little bit high and maybe fading. Yeah, good in the end. Soccer hit. Eight meters to fight with. To start the back nine with a birdie. I mean, Oeva, you know, he had a up and down front nine he had some good birdies but starting off with a double and a couple of bogeys otherwise as well but that's going to be a good chance to get under par on the round hopefully and yes yeah, strong hyzer release for maori great shot even closer than niklas good answer Everybody in the circle on this hole is pretty impressive. But definitely these less windy conditions making it easier as James Proctor already his second miss from inside the circle. Although of course just barely inside. And Niklas cleaning up the birdie. He's five under on the round. And Oiva here. He's had some solid putts after a couple of nervy misses at the beginning. Going one under. Oiva told me that he was feeling the nerves for the first four or five holes, but after that he was feeling quite good on the round. Yeah, best way for him is to enjoy, you know, and just live the experience. I'm pretty sure playing with James and Niklas must be something, even Maori has quite some experience now on the European Tour. On to, the, on to the next one, man. Hole 11, it's a tricky birdie. If you miss your drive even a little bit, oftentimes you're taking an easy par. Not the most bogey potential here. You have to throw a straight, low fairway driver off the tee. Just hit the gap, hopefully skip your way into the sweet spot. Sweet spot being pretty big and from different areas of the sweet spot, you can have different shots to the green. A lot of the times it's something quite straight. 
hopefully with a mid-range backhand or some overstable forehand. Is it low and early? Good turn in the end. And sweet spot hit for Niklas. Uphill look to the basket, 70 meters, something like that. Nice line here. Oh. Yeah, bad skip. That's kind of unfortunate. I feel like this hole usually produces very consistent skips with that low thrown fairway driver. But Oiva getting a little bit unfortunate. Maori with a higher line, not playing that much with a skip. And that's also a good spot there. Just barely short, but he's going to have either a backhand hyzer or a lean out forehand anhyzer. Yeah, he definitely has an angle from there. Just close to a tree. Let's see if it's not going to put him in trouble. And an early kick right side. Middle of the fairway, though. But quite an angle to go to the basket from there. And as you can see, he has a gap. Yeah, pretty fortunate to have a gap with that shot. And look at that result. Perfectly through the gap with a pushing hyzer. He's going to be happy with that. I'm sure he wasn't expecting after the drive to have even a shot to the green. Yeah, definitely unexpected. Hmm. Yeah, short right. He'll have 10 to 12 meters uphill putt to take a birdie. Pretty much perfect spot from Niklas. But what did he do? He hit the first tree in front of him? That's um, really surprising. You know, sometimes an uphill run-up, you know, is pretty hard to manage. Not for Niklas, though. Just on this one. And Maori, six meters from the basket. That's a good chance for him to take a stroke on Niklas. Oh... Hunting the chains on the, th yeah, trying to, to throw in this one. Good line. Not quite the best putt from Oiva. He's also improved his putting a whole lot in the off season. Let's see Mara here. Oh. Surprising miss. That was a big chance to get his lead back to five strokes over Niklas and James after this hole. Yeah, we are talking momentum. This can be this can be dangerous for his pace, for the groove. But good comebacker though. It's just a par. Nothing major. Still four strokes on Niklas. Yeah, four strokes I think is definitely comfortable. You know it's not guaranteed, but it's very comfortable. Mauri knows that it's all about his own game, you know, he can seal the deal with just two, three more birdies. And quite a great looking hole just here, hole 12. Yeah, hole 12, such a satisfying shot to throw, 137 meters, but playing much shorter with a steep downhill, probably playing closer to 110. You have this OB on the right side that you are flying over, hopefully fading left off at the end, just in front of this bushy tree. I think the safest shot, or the best shot, is kind of a straight to stable, either mid-range or fairway driver, depending on the player. And also on the win, you can definitely go to the basket with the tailwind, and with the mid-range, the, there is quite a distance, so fairway driver is Definitely an option. James with the mid in his hand. Oh, late turn. Wow. Good break. Yeah, playing with the right side OB there. I'm surprised he went with such an understable mid range compared to Niklas here. You can see, even with a slight Anheuser release out of the hand with a more overstable mid. And he's going to be right there at about 9 to 10 meters. That's a good shot on this hole. I think it might be one of the trickiest par threes on the whole, or on the whole course to park. 
Yeah, it's a really hard to, to birdie. And that's just a bit too long. Not able to control the speed with the fairway driver. Yeah, tricky to keep it straight on this one. You know, you want to fade left, kind of like Maure is doing very early left. I feel like he played that a little bit safer than maybe usual with the big lead he has. And that's the first opportunity for Niklas to take a stroke back. It would be the smallest gap between them for a while, and that's a good stay there. Good line, need a bit more push for James. Oh, we're about to save par here. Oh, Very yeah. nice putt, just dropping it into the cage. Well done there, staying under par for the round. And Niklas here from 10 meters. Important. Oh yeah, dead center. That's gonna be that's gonna be something. Three strokes now, and a good fist bump between the two. Yeah, I feel like three strokes is it's not gonna happen on any single hole. I feel like a lot of the holes we have coming up have potential for two stroke swings. So Maori needs to lose strokes to Niklas or even James on at least two holes in order for him to lose the leading position. And as we can see, three players from our lead card on top. We are here. We are one. We will fight. We will fall. We will prevail. From the fjords of Norway to the shores of Spain, from the fire of Iceland to the hope of Ukraine, 30 countries one voice. Go Europe! And we are back, hole 13. Yeah, hole 13. It's a very simple hole, but a very far hole. The distance of 121 meters doesn't really do justice of how far it plays. It probably plays closer to 135, even 140 with the uphill slope we have on this hole. Important thing here, don't hit those right side trees. If anything, make the mistake to the left side since a lot of the times you can have some putts through the left side trees even if you fade out early. This is pretty much a full shot for anybody in the field, but especially, you know, Niklas not being the furthest throwing player, even going with a bit of flex here. And as you just mentioned, it happens quite a lot to go through those trees on the left side. Suck one hit for Niklas, putting some pressure on Maori. Yeah, not quite happy with the line. He's fine in the end. Yeah, once again the left side coming in clutch. Even going pretty early left, you can still get on the edge of the circle. And Oiva here, this looks to be going towards the right side trees. That's the opposite mistake you really don't want to make as those right side trees, if you're deep enough in there, you can even have tricky upshots for the par. Oh, those branches just slow down the disc. A deep circle too, 14 meters something, 15. And a good up from Oiva, good scramble. Yep, well done. And this is a big putt from Maori now. Others are in the circle and not quite it. Oh, so close. Good line, just too low. And that's a clean putt from James. Six down on the round through 13. He starts to heat up also. For sure. And Niklas with just a tap in here. It's gonna be two strokes going into the hole number 14. Yeah, tough hole. Anything can happen on this one. That's getting closer. Yeah, and Mauri, you know, he's he's not playing bad. He's just not birding every hole. Yeah, it's just Niklas, you know, seven down through 13. 
after the slow start, he's, he's getting there. Hole 14. Yeah, hole 14. A really tricky hole for the average player in the field, but for these guys it's still a birdie hole. You need to hit this gap off the tee, it's a tight gap, and especially the second gap that we're flying through is even tighter. If you can get through the second gap on your drive with a nice straight shot, either forehand or backhand, you're gonna be in a good position to throw another straight or slightly right moving shot to the green. Tricky green, a lot of roll away potential with this big slope from right to left. Niklas going fairway driver trying to get pretty far down there and he knows he has hit the gap perfectly hitting the short tee pad and he's going to have no more than 80 meters from there. Far down there. Great shot from Niklas. <laughs> Choose a side he says. You're catching the tree right side. He's out of the tunnel. Pretty okay. Yeah, long approach, but it's possible to get the green from there. Get left before the tree is not quite the case. However, he's gonna be happy to stay in bounds as there is Obi on the left side on the road. You can just barely see it from here. That's the worst place you can be on this hole. As Maori hitting the left side tree on the gap, but still very much okay. He has about 100 meters. He can go with uh, maybe a flex forehand or a hyzer flip backhand. Yeah, but Niklas is definitely on the sweet spot, even better than that. Again, keeping the pressure. Maori needs to find the pace on this back nine. And before this shot, I believe James asked Seppo Payu, the course designer who was behind him, is there any sense going with a hyzer here? And Seppo said, well... Yes, there is. And just look at this shot, perfectly thrown, even getting the roll into the bullseye. Yeah, he was surprised about it. <laughs> I don't think he even knows it's that close. And let's see now. Very important. Yeah, not able to reach the green. Not from the knee, too far. And that's another opportunity for Niklas now. Yeah, very much. You know, Mauro being 50 meters short, he's likely going to be taking a par. The approach isn't too tricky from there. And Niklas, very surprising to see him going over the top with a forehand. He had, I mean, he had a basic low forehand from there. He had a basic backhand turnover. I wonder why he went high. I don't know. Sometimes you don't feel your shot. Maybe it's just about that. Because he's so good at doing those shots, man. Yeah. And over their aggressive run. I think Niklas, Niklas ended up about 14 meters on the left side of the basket. So definitely not ideal. And just look at this lie. Almost no putt from here. That's... The greatest moment on this round. I don't know how it made it happen. Look at the angle. How is that possible? He was looking for some gaps. I just arrived at that moment. I don't know, that's... That's pretty insane. He was, it looked like he was almost lying on his side on the ground and just whipping the wrist. Insane control on the disc. We saw Oeva missing and Mauri important part, but there he's still gonna have the lead even after everything that has gone down in the last few holes. That's so close. Four birdies through five on the back nine. And all of a sudden, James also only two strokes back with four holes to go. And, you know, hole 15, this is going to be the easiest of the remaining four holes, 102 meters. Just the main difficulty here being the low ceiling. You want to throw something straight with a good finish to the left. Hopefully land at about 10 meters and skip your way to the basket. You know, it's a hole 
each and every one of these players will have to get the birdie, otherwise they are losing strokes, if not to their card mates, at least to the field. Oh, going through. Looked pretty late, out of the hand. Circle hits. And again, putting the pressure on Maurice's shoulders. And James there, going with a surprisingly understable disc. That's an interesting choice on this hole, you know, going with a very steep hyzer and still fli flipping it up to flat. He was surprised about it. You know, he was calling the fact that it was way more understable than, than he thought. Mauri, that's a good looking shot. Perfect line. Bullseye eight. Putting so much pressure. Now both Niklas, uh, both of the chasing players are going to have, you know, parts from circle two. Yeah, that's a bit of a relief for Mauri. He needed this one. A bit of time to breathe. And good shot be. there from Oiva. Yeah, good shot from the youngster and first c2 opportunity for james this is huge needs to hit it and that's so perfect just over the rim man so clutch so clutch exactly the word yeah they know how to be there on the on the important moments same for niklas here Oh, left side, just able to stay into the cage. Nine down through 15. Yeah, crazy back nine. Yeah, just look at those last four holes, only green on the scorecard. Just one par on the back. Over there with a tough miss. Hopefully he makes the comebacker here. Not to take a bogey on the... Yeah, man, that's tough to see. I think it's... Maybe the situation is getting into him, the mental stress. And Mauri there with just a tap in birdie. That's what you want coming down the stress. Stretch, excuse me, you know, to relieve all that stress for a moment. Not have to worry about making a long putt. Yeah, and he was probably looking, you know, to take a stroke on Niklas. I don't know what can go through his mind right now. <laughs> Very tight race coming into the last three holes and toughest now hole 16. Yeah, talking about tight, hole 16 is exactly that off the tee. You want to throw it down the tunnel. You can choose your distance. You can go, you know, mid-range, fairway driver, as hard as you can or as soft as you can. Just depends on how far you want to throw your second shot. If you're in the middle of the fairway, no matter the distance, you're going to have a shot to the screen. But if you're at all to the side, it's going to be incredibly tricky to have a birdie chance. And at that point, you know, par is a good score if you're off to the side. Yeah, it's going to be a score separator. And that's... He just pierced that tunnel. Man, that's insane. That short tee is pretty much the dream drive of all of these players. Perfectly down the middle. James also down the middle. He's a little bit shorter, but as I said, he has a great shot to the basket from there. And that's very important now. Oh, great skip. I don't know. I think that was a terrible skip. He hit it down the fairway and it skipped to the right. Yeah, exactly. Maybe not the best reaction. I thought it was going through. He's going to be right side. Tough angle for Maori incoming. And James to try going out of this tunnel. Oh, that's low. Needs to get up. No, he's not going to be getting a birdie. That would be so crucial for him, as he knows Niklas is in good position. And Maure even might have a chance for the birdie from the right side. Oiva here. Nice looking flex shot. 
get, get back, back at the basket. Yeah, really good. In the circle for the birdie. That's great to see. Not easy to be too long on this second shot. Mauri going for a tight turnover, hitting the first tree, no way. He was going for the birdie. I respect the play, you know, trying to close it down, but now I don't think he has a very easy shot to the green from the left side there. Let's see, lining up a big hyzer. Looks like the line is okay. Mm, going super high. Oh, and that's very short. Also knowing that Niklas has an open look to the basket. Really important shot here, trying to go with a slight flex. Just get it above that hillside and go straight. This is looking so good. Wow, just outside the bullseye. He's going to have almost a guaranteed birdie and Mauri from about, you know, 16, 17 meters for the par. Even more, man. I'm pretty sure he's 20, 25. He's so far from the basket. He needs to make something crazy happen right now. Let's see, this has to go in for him to keep the lead. And that's not oh. the case. Off the cage. That's going to be a potential two-stroke swing. As James with another good putt. But if Niklas can make his next putt... He's going to be taking the outright lead. Yes, that's a nice birdie from Oiva as well. And now Niklas, really important. Routine putt needs to focus through. And that's in the middle. He's going to be your new leader going into the last two holes. First time of the tournament for him. Two holes to go. What a swing on this hole. We were mentioning it. Very tough hole. It can be a separator, and yeah, going on to hole 17 with the lead. Yeah, and hole 17 and 18 both much easier than the last hole, number 16. You know, this 109 meters, not much bogey potential here. You can take a par if you miss your shot. You know, it's a forehand or a turnover. You have to hit this gap, very specific gap. You have to hit with a very specific angle. I think Niklas is going forehand. He's going for the low forehand, at least in the previous rounds. Mauri has been going for the high forehand. Let's see, Niklas, very important shot here. He's on fire right now. Bullseye hit for Niklas. What do you want to do? Mauri is just against the monster right now. Yeah, really, he... I mean, he's still... Only thing he needs to do is to birdie this hole and hopefully have a chance on 18, you know. 18 has potential for two-stroke swings. So Mauri, ideally he would love to be only one stroke back after this, as Niklas is most definitely making that putt for the birdie. Yeah, but his faith is not anymore in his hands. It depends on Niklas. Yeah, potential Niklas mistake. On the next hole, he's not going to miss this one. Mori left with a 5 to 6 meters short range putt. Let's see, and James also putting the pressure on Mori now. Has to make this, oh. and that's so clutch once again. That's an absolute must make. He can't be three strokes back going into the final hole, and with that, Assuming that Niklas is making his putt from 4 meters, he's going to be only 2 strokes back going into the final hole. Look at this. Left side, strong chains, able to stay in the basket. What a putt from James. Wow, we are looking at some great action right now. And Mauri here. Another very important from six meters going through the chains. A bit too much left, you'd say? Yeah, I think it was left, but I saw this live. It definitely went through the left side chains. It's kind of one of those, you know, half spit outs, half splash outs. Really unfortunate to see in this moment. And he already had a spit out earlier in the round. Yeah, man, we, we need to mention this, but without that spit out, it would 
probably be different, man. And 24, two strokes. Look at the scorecard. Only green, almost. That's an incredible back, back nine from Niklas. Needs only one more hole to close it off. He's gonna have two strokes going into this island hole number 18. Though, two strokes is exactly at the amount that can swing on this hole, 116 meters. If you miss the island, you're going to a drop zone 11 or 12 meters away. You can see it at the top left corner of the island. Man, everything Niklas has to do now is put it in bounds and he's gonna be your champion. What an ending. Was not expecting this. It's a little bit wide, needs to fade back. And overstable disc, that's perfect. Oh! He knows it. He's gonna go 25. What? And I mean, now it's just James, I think, has to throw it in to put any sort of pressure. But he's gonna be parked there. And Mori needs to put this in the island if he wants to be second. He's now fighting for this. Oh, tough miss there from Oiva. You know, tough round for him, but he had, I'm sure, a great experience. And Mori here going high trying to stick the island but that looks a little bit short he skips over the hail bale no way you that. You that. and you know relieved i'm sure after the last host miss he's gonna be feeling like the wind has slipped away already and that's gonna be the case but he will have to make his putt for the birdie to stay tied for second assuming james make his, makes his putt from about four meters Tough for Mori. He was looking for his first win of the win of the season. Excuse me. He's just against Niklas Antila, man. He if he's on fire. How many clutch he made on that back nine? Hole yeah. fourteen, hole nine. Not even on the back nine. Yeah, it's so many. So many, but you know. You still have to wonder what would have happened Without. if Maori didn't have the speed out on the front and that, you know, half speed out on 17. And James there, very respectable round for him. 10 under, that would have been the hot round in any other round. Not today though. And he's now second, solo second. And Niklas here, he could lay up if he wanted, but I think he knows 12 under would tie the course record. He wants it. Yeah, to match Daniel Davidson's hot score. And he's done it. What a great round, man. What great action. That's incredible. You know, that's... I don't know if there's a more satisfying way to win being five strokes back at some point. Was he even six strokes back at some point? I'm pretty sure he was, man. Mauri was playing pretty pretty fair start of the round. And your 2024 Turku Open champion Niklas Antila. Wow. What a round. That's what we want every weekend. Yeah, wow, that's so incredible. Two double digit under par rounds on the lead card. That's incredible. And Maori still with a very respectable third place. Yalta Jensen on the fourth. Congratulations to him. He's going to USDGC and one of the best finishes of his career. Yeah, exactly, you're right. I'm really happy for him, you know, he's uh, more consistent since uh, the start of the season and again, congrats to the champ, Niklas Antila, thank you guys for watching, for supporting, yeah, don't forget the giveaway, it's, uh, it's gonna be announced in Ale, thank you for commenting with me, Elias. And thank yeah. you, Max, it was such a good time, that was maybe my favorite tournament so far this year. Yeah, it was great, and we'll see you in Ale next week, guys.